Hey the berries, hope you're doing well. We are doing a Zara game in Diamond 2 EU West. Uh, I did a Zara game in the previous game that I wanted to record and upload, but uh, it was a Teemo top we had. And um, as you might know, Teemo top is pretty cursed. We don't have a Teemo top. We do have a different Yordle up there though, uh, but something a bit more meta, the Poppy. Um, we're playing a Filios Zyra in the bot lane up against the Zyra Janna. Uh, Jenna, you know, the one that's actually got a lot of changes this patch, and I made a couple of videos explaining why they kind of suck. Um, Jenna is vulnerable against uh, supports that poke. She's good at disengaging from stuff, but um, yeah, she's a little bit weak to poke. So Zyra is a pretty good champion. Zeraf is also pretty good too. Uh, and like Nami is actually my favorite enchanter to play against Jenna. Nami's actually very good into, into Jenna because if Jenna still walks in to try and do her W, you can just uh, W her as Nami and then you can heal back as well, so yeah. So Ignite on the Janna, Arcane Comet, so she's doing the rune build that I think is not great. It's going to cause her to potentially overextend too much and take too much damage back. So yeah, she's already started to Q, which costs 90 mana by the way. It's pretty insane. What is that misclick though? I don't want to talk about that. Let's hope that never happens ever again. Might do W level 2 here, just to do a bit more poke back. Yeah, 90 mana level 1 is really, really, really expensive. Come back. Ornily joined the very bush. Hey, thank you very much, Orn, for the 51 month three, so thank you very much. Nice. It's a lot of plants. Okay, yeah. A lot of damage was dealt that to everyone, really, apart from the Janna. I mean, Aphidios is already kind of low. He does have the Lysta weapon, so you can tap up a little bit. Shame the Q didn't tap onto the Janna. They're going to hit level 3 first. Yeah, Janna hasn't actually like leveled this W yet, and she's going to take it now. Yeah, she's got it now. That's our level 3. Okay, this looks good. This looks really good. Ignite. Yeah, I forced him into a really bad position there. No, if I landed one more ability. If I landed the E, she would have died. She was being really arrogant there. She had no mana at all after using that Q. Maybe a little bit of movement speed there on a W passive and Janna helped her out then. There would have been another kill. She was being really arrogant just standing there like that. Okay, this is spicy. There's a lot of minions there. I'm just putting wards there so the minions help. Nunu's coming down. Cool. She, look how much this 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 uh, Zaya is gonna potentially lose here. Look at that wave. I mean, that kind of minion is gonna tank a little bit there, but what is he doing? What? Are you, what? <laughs> Wait. I mean, now Jan is technically now losing some resources there. I think he was right about cat. But I... Yeah, a little bit confused by that one. So, good movement. Really good movement. Q? A little QQ? No, lucky. Yeah, Zaya committed a lot for that. She managed to kill the Aphilios, but she just lost so much resources there. Jenna just W'd the minion. Mm -hmm. I 
and she flashed really badly. Okay, had to kind of root up here to cut them off, uh, to cut the Zyra off and being able to walk onto turret to force her up the river. And she had no flash, so eventually we would be able to catch her off if we wanted to pursue. Yeah, you can tell this channel doesn't watch my videos. She's just playing Janna because it received a quote-unquote buff. It's so funny, like, how many of these Janna players, like, I'm sorry if you're one of them, but, like, there's a lot, so many Janna mains were like, oh my god, can't wait for the revert, it's gonna be such a huge buff to Janna, oh my god, I'm gonna go max W, I'm gonna do all this. Right, even going, yeah, you max W now on the patch notes. It's complete bait. It's just disgusting what's actually happened with, with Janna in terms of the misinformation regarding her strongest right now. It's such a bait to go max W. It really is. Sam. So, um, and this guy is like probably just playing Janna for like the first time in ages and going, okay, it's now time to do Arcane Comet Janna again. That's going to be the meta and it's just, it's really not, it's really bad. Like you might better get away with it if you're uh, a high ELO person trying to stomp in like bronze or silver to make YouTube content, but apart from that, you're not really... You're putting yourself at a massive disadvantage. I'm not saying you can't win like that, but it's definitely not the uh, the most optimized way to play. This gen is going to die again. Wait, what? I didn't even see those feathers. Interesting. Did I make a clickbait video for it? I mean, if it's the truth, it's, uh, is it clickbait? Isn't technically everything clickbait? If I put Zyra support in YouTube, that's still clickbait. It's still a title to try and get you to click on the video, right? Clickbait is such a, so always, I hated the word clickbait. It literally just makes no sense. It's just the title <laughs> of the video. It's just a longer way of just saying title. Like when you go into a supermarket, do you wish all the uh, the cans on the uh, on the supermarket aisle were just like labelless, so you don't know what you're gonna get when you click on or when you purchase the uh, the item? Right, this is the exact same thing. What is going on here? Yeah, we've got a quite a big CS lead. Decent bit of trunkage. Just gonna wait for the spell thief to upgrade to get a bit more stats. All clickbait is advertising, all advertising is not clickbait. I mean. What is the definition of clickbait then at that point? I'd say like clickbait is just trying to get someone to click on the video, right? Or click on the article via whatever the title and maybe the thumbnail is showing. And it's obviously an argument that some people will lie it was in the content of the video, but I think that's not necessary. That's not clickbait. That's just the person. It's got to be a different word for that, surely. Should make a video post. It's just titled video. I mean, if I did, I kind of want to make a video that's like 10 hours long and just like called like, if you watch this, I make money, like watch it fully and then just have ads all over the video. <laughs> make me money video. If you watch this video, you make me money. I kind of just want to do that.
Hey, bring thing. Yeah, well, I don't know. It could, in theory, make a... Like, if I... I don't know. If you... If you make the, the video as well, like, suggested for a demographic or something on YouTube where, like, the ads are, like, really huge. So I don't know if it would be, like, housing or, like, investment or something like that. Just, like, I don't know. Just have it like that. You would make a lot more on ads as well because the ad value is worth more on, like, those kind of videos rather than, like, gaming videos. Make it eight hours and I put it on when I go to bed and I'm AFK all night. Yeah, that's what I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that's possible. I could try it for the memes. Got Camille roaming down the bar and she's a little bit strong. She's 3 1 right now. Okay, yeah, she's. Okay, I, I knew they obviously were coming, but. Maybe I shouldn't, even, I shouldn't even tested it. That's. What the hell was that? I will never test that again. That reach was just kind of gross. I don't know why I'm not winning that. Oh, this is going to be... I've slowed down the cat and I'm going to die there. Oh, my plant. <gasps> no, my plant. My plant attacked the sleep and it interrupted. I was hoping it wouldn't because dots don't break sleep, but because the plant isn't a dot, I guess. I was really hoping that wouldn't break. Nice job. Yeah, that sucks. Like the one auto attack from the plant breaks the sleep. Alright, this is cracked, apparently. What is it with Yordle's top, by the way? Zero four. I don't know. I'm scared. She's rude. I'm gonna get jumped again. I put my ulti down. I'm gonna replenish the ward. We can't handle that. We didn't generate this amount of gold in bot lane to offset the Camille and the Dinah. We should not do anything when Zoe is not on the map. I think that's going to have to be the new rule. We cannot do anything. Like, we were decimating their bot lane, but it's not enough to decimate the, the decimation that's happened in the solo lane. It's, uh, yeah. Come closer. We have to just play around the Zoe. And she's going to be a bit annoyed because she's going to want solo stuff, but, like, I am too scared to do anything on the map without being around a Zoe. Nuni wants to do dragon, but okay. I mean, like Zoe's here, so. I mean, she is 9 1. The good old days of, was it 200 years? <laughs> The 200 years meme. Burn. 
Gonna get out of the Andrews. And then I think it's gonna be Rod Irons just to try and try and slow down like the the potential engage coming through. If we can slow down the Camille and the Diana down a little bit, it gives us a tiny bit of time to an extra half a second to maneuver out of anything. Okay, let's see if me and so we can do some tech here. Alright, I can't handle this by myself, that's why I move you Zoe. No, she missed. Got an assist, thank you. Like, stat-wise, this Camille feels way stronger than what she actually is right now. Like, she's 6'2", 130 CS, but it just feels like she's 20-0 or something. Is he asking for vision? And his eyes just gonna have to constantly go in and out of fountain. I rooted her. The problem there, Zoe was stuck in our animation. Just able to keep shoving onto us without really us being able to respond too much. I'm a little bit worried about this game. We can't have 5v5s. It has to be literally Zoe finding that pick. I ruined her. Okay. So he's gonna die if Phileas is top. Um, I don't know how to play this because we don't actually want any team fights. We will lose pretty much every 5v5. We cannot have them as five. It'd be much better. Uh, it'd be b much better if the poppy just splits. No, oh, that plant will attack. I think. I think the projectile did go off. It's so like comet gonna proc. Did it not? Wait, what? <laughs> Okay, I guess it doesn't want to prog. I don't want- why am I face checking this? We do not want 5v5. I might have to say we don't want 5v5s because we really don't want 5v5s. I mean, I'm doing little bits of damage here and there. 
slowly chipping away at them. Nice. That's a free kill. Oh, come on. Why me, man? She should die, though. Okay. So any situation for Zyra, you max E first. Um, generally, when it's like more looking like you can hit them, but when, when you're playing against a Janna, for example, it's pretty difficult to land skill shots consistently against her because of her movement speed. So you don't want to bother with your E, maxing your E first. Better off just poking, landing stuff with Q, it's the easiest to land your Q as well. Okay, these picks are good, really good. Camille's trying to come in from behind. Okay, good poppy. Anti dash. Can we get Baron then? Maybe just get Baron here, guys. Didn't even see her doing that. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what we need. Just like random picks like that. We don't want the actual full 5v5. But that, this all started just because of like Diana kind of getting caught out by the new new snowball. Oh no, like Janna also got picked also by Zoe. We just need those picks. We just need to wait. She just found another kill. Just gotta let Zoe do her job. So any situation was there where you max W second. Um, I have heard people want liking maxing W on Zyra second because it reduces the seed cooldown a lot, but I'm not one of those people that likes doing that. I don't really feel like I've got much issue of plant spawns in general anyway. And like, especially if I do something like, um, Q max. I'm gonna want my E max at some point because it does increase the root rate duration and that is pretty useful. So maybe th maybe there's like a slight argument that you could look into doing it if you maybe have maxed your E first. Then you'll have a bit more utility potentially with more slows, but I don't know, I don't I'm not that keen on it. Yeah. Lol. I'm not dead this time. Yay. I mean, we can't end end, I don't think. Who's the life still on desire? Going for a complete end him might be a bit tricky. Well, Zoe's passive damage is pretty high, isn't it? Maybe we can. Yeah, that Zoe damage is pretty disgusting. Why, in your opinion, is Nami not a good pick at the moment? Um, she's a viable pick. She's not, like, anything in tier 4 or under is garbage uh, for Soda Q. Um, but Nami is just, like, an okay pick. You have to be pretty good on her to make it work. Um, but they're just better enchanters to play right now. And that's speaking as someone who likes playing Nami. It's, Nami is one of my favorite champions to play. Yeah, well played Zoe. She said I cared that game. We weren't gonna win that from top for sure. We definitely well we weren't gonna win it from bot, even though we had that advantage early. Um 
Yeah, their bot lane got decimated in the early game, I'd say. Uh, the Jenna wasn't very good, but their Dyna and the Camille, as soon as they were freed up from top, they just kind of made the game not quite as easy. So, yeah.